We're all aware of scary and vicious animals in this world, but many say that the most scary creature is us, humans. And I think this invention might just prove it. The brazen bull is said to be the worst punishment in all of human history. It was a torture and execution device designed in ancient Greece. It's unimaginably cruel and genius. And it's quite a stunning story when you hear what happened to the inventor and proposer of this. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the brazen bull, the worst punishment in history. Before we get it on, why not subscribe and press the notification bell. The brazen bull went by many names, such as the bronze bull or the Sicilian bull. It was a device designed for torture and execution of criminals. We know all about this ancient device because it was written about in the Bibliotheca Historica, or the Historical Library. This is basically a history of the world, as told by Greek historian Diodorus Siculus. One day, Phalaris, the tyrant of Acragas, Sicily, wanted a new means of executing criminals. He wanted something so cruel that it would make no one want to commit any crimes against him, and he could also use it to punish his political enemies, of which he had many. So that's when he consulted Perilos of Athens, who was an inventor. It's not exactly known when he built the brazen bull, but it's said he pitched it somewhere between 570 and 554 BC. Phalaris loved the idea because he was a total madman. After all, he was literally known as the Tyrant of Acragas. So he paid Perilos a lot of money to make the brazen bull out of bronze. Phalaris said he wanted something very evil and cruel. After all, this is a man so evil he would sometimes eat babies. So, Perilos went to work and created the brazen bull. It was made entirely out of bronze, totally hollow inside. And on the side of it was a small door. It was designed in the form and size of a real bull. And inside it had an acoustic apparatus. This would convert the victim's screams into the sound of a bull. A criminal would get inside it and a fire would be lit underneath the bull. The person would then slowly be cooked until they passed away. This would take many hours and is said to be the worst pain imaginable. Bronze is known to heat up to extreme temperatures and there was no way out. When the victim was screaming in pain, his sounds would be made into that of a bull. That's because of a carefully distorted pipe system inside the brazen bull. This would give anyone watching the spectacle quite a show. It would look like a bull screaming in pain, when in reality it was a man, woman or child. There was also holes in the nose area of the brazen bull. This is where smoke would come out, making it into even more of a spectacle. Of course burning flesh does not have a good smell, so that's why a nice incense was put in the nostrils of the brazen bull. After the victim was totally burnt, the bull would be opened back up. Their bones would then be collected and made into a bracelet, kind of like a creepy memento. When Perilous made this, he brought it to the tyrant Phalaris. And he said to Phalaris, your victim will be punished and you can sit back and enjoy the music. But there was a twist. Phalaris said he wanted Phalaris to confirm that it worked. He said, get inside and pretend to scream so I know the acoustic apparatus works. Perilos obliged and got into the brazen bull and began to shout. But as he did this, Phalaris locked him inside and lit a fire underneath, taking his life. Some say this is because Phalaris did not want to pay. But because he was so rich, many historians doubt this. Instead, some say it's because Phalaris was so taken aback by his cruelty. Phalaris apparently said that Perelos had a genius cruelty. However, later on, Phalaris got his comeuppance. In about 550 BC, he had his downfall. He was overthrown by Telemachus. This was the Theron of Acragas. And Phalaris was then put in his own brazen bull and burnt. So he literally got karma for what he did. He was put in the very invention that he commissioned. It's kind of ironic that both the inventor and funder met their fates inside the brazen bull. This of course all happened in ancient Greece, but apparently that's not where the use of the brazen bull stopped. It's said that in ancient Rome the brazen bull was also used. This was during the Romans' persecution of Christians. Famously, St. Eustace was apparently roasted in the brazen bull with his wife and children. This was done by Emperor Hadrian. The Bishop of Pergamon was also said to have been roasted in the Brazen Bull. This was done in 92 CE by Emperor Domitian. Some also claim that the device was used two centuries later. This was when Pelagia of Tarsus was burnt in it in 287 CE. And it was apparently last used in the year 497. That is when a Roman usurper was roasted in the bull by King Alaric II. So there we have the total history of the worst punishment in the history of mankind. It really makes you think, although we have bad punishments now, at least it's not as bad as this. 
I wonder what things we do today which seem normal will be seen as totally brutal in years to come. One thing is for certain, humans sure can be brutal. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There are some more videos you may like on screen right now. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.